Will they lose their job? The question I asked in my mind, overhearing an acquaintance's worried speculation about staying with their current employer. Hey guys, it's your astrologer Loveless, and welcome to my channel. I've been meaning to do more educational content lately and read a horary chart for you guys. What is a horary chart? It's the type of charts you see me mostly use for this channel, and I also like to call them a thought chart. They are charts made for a situation slash question, usually one personal to you, but not necessarily. With these charts, we can see how events unfold by observing the movements of the stars. An interesting phenomenon and perhaps a gift of the cosmos. I will go over this horary chart for you, explaining what was foretold and what actually happened in real life. It was made almost a year ago on January 29th, 2023. Let's begin the reading. Normally, there are checks horary astrologers do to ensure a chart is good to read, but in my experience, as long as you have a sincere, deep interest in what the chart is about, you should be able to read it. In my case, I was interested in this person's plight, and also in seeing what the stars would say. Libra is rising in this chart. The rising sign represents the person this chart is about. Because Venus rules Libra, that means the employee will be represented by Venus. That also means we can look at how Venus is shown in this chart to partly see how things play out for them. The person the chart is about is called the Querent. The word Querent, alluding to asking a question. Technically, I am the Querent because I asked the question on their behalf, but since I have no place in the situation or no influence, Venus instead represents the employee, not me. We need to define some more variables in this formula. The person or thing we are asking about, in this case, the status of employment, is called the Quesitant. Their employer slash career status is the moon, because the 10th house which describes employers in career is in Cancer. The house that represents jobs in general is the 6th house, which has Pisces on it, so they are represented by Jupiter. The 6th house is important in these types of questions too. The moon is important in horary charts, as it is another important descriptor of how the situation plays out overall. In this chart, this is the case even more so, because the moon represents their employer. We can observe the moon to understand the situation with their employer. The moon is in Taurus, a very good sign for the moon, the best, showing them having some great success to their company name, and that they had a period of fortunate stability and material success. Moon in Taurus energy. Clearly something must be wrong though if they're worried about their job. I'll show you how this is conveyed. Despite the fortune declared by the moon in Taurus, the moon is moving into the 12th house from the 10th, and this is an inauspicious indication. Something is wrong here, and it is likely due to the employer's own missteps. Then, the moon is at 28 degrees. This is a critical indication. 28 degrees is usually bad. They explain that their company seemed to be in a crisis mode. I forget exactly why or if they ever mentioned it, but they started laying off people, and they were wondering if they were be next. Turmoil for the company, radical transformation, and harsh business decision is also likely shown by a trine happening from the moon to Pluto and Capricorn. This is all yet more augmented for the worse by the moon in close proximity to the fixed star Algol. This star is highly inauspicious and reaffirms that the company must be in some sort of crisis. The chart shows the overall situation with the company in an early phase with the ascendant at 3 degrees Libra. 0 to 3 degrees will show situations in early stages. In this case, the company was in early phases of downsizing. The moon is separating from Saturn and Aquarius by a square aspect. Separating means a planet is moving away from another. Saturn represents restrictions, limitations, reduction, so the square must show the company's decision to downsize, a cold, hard decision for its greater good. Looking at the moon and its relationship with Saturn in this chart, I can tell it was not something that they really wanted to do. It is likely more so that they had to. Let's look at the relationship between the moon and Venus next, the employer and the specific employee this chart's about. The moon is applying by Venus to square. This is a difficult aspect, showing obstacle in an uncomfortable if not stressful situation. This is true, as they were understandably worried about their job. The good thing, however, is that the moon is in Taurus. The moon in Taurus is a positive statement, showing they were less likely to act negatively towards her, despite their situation. And since the moon is in a sign of Venus, Taurus, this means they actually like and value her. This aspect is good because it is an applying aspect, an aspect which tells the future. This all shows them interacting with the company in the future and that they would likely retain their position for a while. 
This positive indication is also strengthened by another aspect happening here, Moon Trine Ascendant. But the most positive indication towards their fate with the company is that their planet, Venus, is the strongest planet in this chart and in the best sign Venus could be in, Pisces. Additionally, even though it doesn't look like it in the chart, Venus is in the sixth house. All this means is that they were in the best standing they could have at the time with their job, likely very valuable to their company. Venus moving to the sixth house cusp was a strong sign of continued employment. It was my conclusion that likely, even though their job was threatened, they were very valuable to the company and they would keep their job. So what actually happened? Sometime after the chart was made, I forget when, but they said that they ended up keeping their job. The angel of layoff death had passed over them and it was a good ending for now. For several months after the reading, they would continue to work keeping their job, but one day, they announced the angel of layoff death had arrived at their doorstep and they were no longer employed. Was this shown in the chart? It was, and I'll describe how. It's important to note for charts like these, generally, we give a three month time frame for the answer given. The time frame can change though with the nature of the question, of course, if you're asking about something further away. Quarry readings though are best for things happening sooner than later. In the chart, the angles of the chart, the 1st, 4th, 7th, and 10th houses, they are in cardinal signs. This states that this is a rapidly changing situation, and the overall answer we find would not be for the long term. There is a more specific indication that I see now, looking at the chart almost a year later. Earlier, I mentioned the moon who represented their employer was at 28 degrees. This is an ending phase of a sign and was a strong suggestion of their time with the company coming to a close since they suspected it, especially as the moon represents the situation overall. I don't know what this person is up to lately, but hindsight is a great teacher for this type of astrology. I hope you've enjoyed my breakdown. There are more things here of course, but I'll keep it trimmed down for now. Let me know what you think of this reading or if you have any questions in the comments below. Until next time.